two position of a dice are shown as below if one is at the bottom which number will be on top see again a very very easy question uh, what is given here you have a dice okay now if you look at both the uh, dimensions that they have given of the dice the side that is or the uh, common side no that is there in both of these pictures is this three right the face which has three dots in it here also i have a face which has three dots in it now if i if you look at the actual dice see uh, for each face right for each face you will have four adjacent faces so which are the four adjacent faces of this face which has three dots see one adjacent face has four dots the other adjacent face has five dots the other adjacent face has two dots and the other adjacent face has six dots so if you look at the face three right if you look at the face three each face as i said has four adjacent faces right i'm just opening the dice now and keeping if this is the case this face three is adjacent uh, faces are 6 2 4 and 5 so which should be opposite to 3 the one that is opposite to 3 has to be the face 1 yeah the face 1 if you actually open it this would be face 1 it will go under or to the bottom of the face 3 now what are they saying if 1 is at the bottom then which has to be on top 3 has to be on top um, yeah 3 is the correct answer for this that is option 2 okay see the adjacent faces of the phase 3 right are 2 4 5 and 6 so the only phase that is that should come opposite to 3 is 1 so the answer will be option 2 that is 3 if the difference between the number of dots on the opposite faces is 3 then find out the figure which is correct he says the difference between the number of dots on the opposite faces is 3 so find out the figure which is correct find out the figure which is correct all right here we go look at this question if the difference between the number of dots on the opposite faces is 3, find out the figure which is correct. So what's the logic here? It says the difference between number of dots on opposite faces should be equal to 3. The difference between the number of dots on opposite faces should be equal to 3. Find out the figure which is correct. Yeah. Now look at this. I mean, if you look at the first die, I mean, how many dots do we have on the faces shown here? This is 2 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 9. So this is like 9 this is 5 3 plus 2 5 and this is what 5 plus 2 7 9 5 7 this is 6 plus 3 9 this is 3 and here we've got 4 and 3 7 oh sorry this is 8 I'm sorry let me just clear it out Three plus three six plus three nine here. This is three. This is four plus two six plus one seven. Here, what do we have here? Three plus three six plus two eight. This is five. And here we what? Six plus two eight again. Look at the last one. Three plus three six. This is four, and this is five. Now you see, if you talk about a die, you know that the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, right? He says the difference between the number of dots and opposite faces have to be 3. So what should be the opposite faces? 2 should be opposite to 5, 3 should be opposite to 6, 1 should be opposite to 4. In all the three cases, the difference will be equal to 3. Yes or no? Which means, now you know the funda, right? In a die, when you are shown this kind of a figure, one of the angular uh, views, opposite faces will never come together, right? Opposite faces will never, never come together. So if 5 is available, 2 should not be available because 2 should be opposite to 5. So 2 is behind that. Yes, 2 is not available here, yeah? If 6 is available, then 3 should not be available because opposite of 6 should be 3. So if 6 is here, opposite of 6 should be 3 and 3 should not be available in this figure because if 3 is available, then 6 and 3 will become adjacent faces yes or no three should be below the the under face of this die similarly if four is visible one should not be visible and one is not visible so this looks like the proper dies which will satisfy this condition right the difference between uh, the number of dots on the opposite faces is where is that sorry the difference between the number of dots on the opposite faces is three so six four five all three are shown meaning the opposite faces see six four five are shown opposite faces uh, uh, three one two are not shown Right? So option 4 looks like the correct one. Right? I mean, 
these are not standard dies first of all option one two and three they've got they, these are not standard dies yeah here we have nine five seven here we have nine seven three this is eight five eight so so option four has to be an answer i mean a setter there five is opposite to three five should be opposite to three four should be opposite to one six should be opposite to sorry five should be opposite to two four should be opposite to one six should be opposite to the different positions of a dice have been shown in the following figure which color will be op will be opposite green so what is the answer here see you have to find out which color will come opposite to green so how do you find that out so if you look at green you know in two adjacent see green the the face green right will actually have four adjacent sides so when you open out the cube this face green is going to have four adjacent sides and there will be one opposite side basically i've just opened this cube and drawn this figure yeah so which are the four adjacent sides of green by looking at these figures you can say that yeah here there is green yellow red so two adjacent sides are yellow and red the other two adjacent sides are blue and black so these are the four adjacent sides of green so this yellow red blue black right all this is going to come here now which is the only other face that is left that is going to be pink and that means pink is not an adjacent side of green so which is opposite to green it is going to be pink option 4